everyone, well welcome back to Motivation Monday. I hope you've all had a brilliant weekend and you've managed to stay on track somewhat. Maybe done a few little hit sessions or drank loads of water and your lemon juice in the morning, but I hope you've had a really, really good weekend. So we're back to Monday and Monday is the day where everybody says they're gonna start their diet, they're gonna start their exercise routine, and yeah, Monday is a brilliant day to start. If you are struggling with your motivation, there's a, a thing that really helps, and I have this, I use this all of the time for me, so you know about the snooze, never press snooze, you know about just remembering why you started, so my little girl is the reason why I kind of started and want her to see that I'm a fit and healthy mum and that I look after myself, but we all need to, to maintain levels of motivation and maintain your levels of strive as to what it is that you want. You need to have a clear vision, a clear goal of what it is that you want out of life. So out of your fitness path that you're now taking, that you're on and that you're enjoying doing your hit sessions and you're enjoying doing your healthier eating, what do you want from it? What is your ideal outcome? So my ideal outcome is that I am, I'm hitting 30 this year, um, so I'm hoping that when I hit my 40s and my 50s, I am still fit and healthy. You know, the generation that was before me, you know, they, they don't have that element of fitness levels. You know, my mum, she's, they never really went to the gym, they never did anything to keep themselves fit and healthy. So I want to be this next generation that is, fit and healthy and still looks really good in 40s, 50s, 60s. I want to be that kind of woman. I don't want to get to my 50s and 60s and 70s and think, God, I could have done more with my life. I want to be fit and healthy. So that is my big outcome. You know, that's my big goal is at the end of everything that, that I can look back on my life and go, wow, I really enjoyed it. And I really was, you know, fit and healthy. And I managed to run around with my little girl and she now follows in my footsteps. So that's a big goal for me. But for me, you know, it's breaking it down as well. So break down your goals. Look at if you have a certain date that you're working towards, a certain amount of weight that you want to lose or a certain amount of dress sizes that you want to lose. You need to break them down. Have a look at your goals and how can you start breaking that down? Because what can happen, and it happened to me in the past, is I'd have a big goal of six and a half stone that I wanted to lose. And that was it. That was all I knew I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to lose that and I was going to get there, but I didn't know when and I didn't know how, and I was pretty clueless. So without breaking that down, it just felt like too much of a task and too big of a, a thing for me to reach. So I could never ever get there because it just looked like it was way too far away from me and that I, at the stage that I was, was too unfit, too unhealthy to ever think about getting there. So if you're thinking about your goals, start breaking them down. So think about how much you could possibly lose. Realistically, we have to be realistic with our, our goals as well. So how much realistically can you lose per month, say? So break it down to monthly. If you wanna break it down to weekly, do, but be really, really realistic. You're looking at like half a pound to one pound a week. If you wanna be, you know, fair to yourself, you wanna be harsh to yourself, Put it out there, but don't beat yourself up if you don't hit that target. It needs to be really specific, small targets for you. And I found that once I broke them down, so I had goals and I had targets that every month I want to have dropped a certain amount of pounds. And if I hit that target every month, then I would treat myself. I would, re I would reward what I had done, the hard work that I'd done. And it wouldn't be a treat of food because what we tend to do and I used to do this when I went to the classes like the, the Slimming World and the Weight Watchers was I'd go to my class jump on the scales see that I'd lost weight and then go and take a, have a takeaway and treat myself with a takeaway so I don't do that I don't reward myself with food anymore food is a necessity it's a, a thing that we need to live it's a thing that your body needs to have energy so I don't see it as a reward anymore so if you can get that out of your head that it's a reward you're on a really good path so go and reward yourself with maybe a new pair of trainers for a workout or 
maybe go get your nails done or maybe your feet done or have your hair done. Something that makes you feel good. Something that makes you feel that you've rewarded yourself for all of the hard work that you've put in. Because what happens is if you treat yourself or reward yourself with food, you put all of that hard work in and you think, I'm going to go and reward myself with a takeaway, with a nice bag of chips or pizza or something like that. You eat that food and then beat yourself up for what you've just done. So why spend all of that time rewarding yourself, thinking, oh, I've done really well, to then go and beat yourself up? So think of your rewards that can be nice little luxuries. A luxury, that's the word. A nice luxury for you. So maybe it's a new lipstick. Maybe it's, you know, go and get yourself a little handbag or a purse that you've seen or something small. And with every time you hit a target, go and treat yourself. Now, once you hit a target, set a new one. Always have something, always have a goal that you're working towards. Because once we lose our goals and we lose our focus, we kind of lose our path. We lose why we're doing this and we we forget where we started and why we started and we go back to what we were and then beat yourself up again for months and months on end maybe years until you come to the realization of why you want to do it all over again so always have something that you're working towards and that is a big lesson that i've learned over the five years of starting out and, and losing weight and, and staying on track. You know, I have had times where I've gone off track for months and months and months and gone, I can't get back into it and I'm really struggling and then all of a sudden, like a light bulb goes off and I remember why I did it again. And I start again and then it's all a big task of starting again. I mean, in the five years that I've been doing it, I have gone up and down in weight. Please don't think that I am, you know, superstar mum and I've lost all the weight within, you know, a certain amount of time. It has took me a while. It has took me a while to get used to food, to get my head around food as well and to get my head around setting goals and understanding that I need to have something that I'm working towards. If we're working towards something, we're always moving, always thinking, always progressing. If we're not working towards something, we don't progress anywhere. So have your goals written out. Maybe go and get a little notepad or have something that you can stick up on the wall and have your goals and your targets all spread out across the year. Make sure you're realistic with them. Your goals need to be smart. They need to be specific. They need to be measurable. They need to be attainable. They need to be realistic and you need to have a time scale as to when you want to hit that target by. If you can do that and you can stick on track with your goal setting and stick on track with being realistic with a small bite-sized manageable chunks, you will be able to stay on track and be able to stick to your routine that you're doing. So if you've got any questions about goal setting or any questions about how I do my goals and how I stick on track with what I'm doing, fire away, please send me some questions. Send them over Facebook, send them over Instagram, Snapchat. Through email, you can do, you know, paula at paulasweet.co.uk, anything like that. Please send me all your messages through and I will gladly answer them. Your best option is through Facebook. That's one of the ones that I'm on there quite a bit. And Snapchat, I'm on there the most. So fire them over to me and I will gladly answer. Hope you've enjoyed today's little bit of motivation to get you rocking on a Monday, get you started, to continue your week on your best foot forward. And I'll see you in tomorrow's Transformation Tuesday.